in this ensemble that you see right here, I have three coats. One, two, three. Three vests. One, two, three. Three hats. One, two, three. And a pair of gloves and mittens, all of what you see right here. Hi, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple. Thank you for coming to my channel today. If you're new here, my videos are all about home, car, plane, or train. I'll have you prepared for just about anything. And today, I'm going to have you prepared to pack a winter capsule wardrobe, but a little bit differently, not based on colors, as much as based on variety. The versatility of these clothes will surprise you and allow you to bring a few extra looks on your travel adventure without bringing extra clothes. Winter might be the hardest time to pack, especially if you're going carry-on only, but I have a few basic things that I pack most of the time when I travel in the winter. And a lot of that is what you see right here with what I have on. It is a merino wool turtleneck and merino wool leggings that, yes, they have pockets because everything for me must have pockets or I try to have everything with pockets. These are actually like workout leggings, but they're made with merino wool. And for those of you who travel a lot, you know how much merino wool really helps you cut down on what you need to pack and how often you need to wash it. And sometimes I will use this as a travel outfit and sometimes I'll pack it, but I always have it with me. For those of you who travel a lot, you know that merino wool is one of those fabrics that A, holds up great and B, helps resist and repel, you know, body odor and things like that. So that's why I travel with it and even at home, I wear this a lot. I have two or three pairs of these merino wool leggings. They fit just like workout leggings. They work just like workout leggings, but they are just comfortable. They wash in the washer and dryer. I can wash them by hand in a sink or in the shower when I'm traveling. So they're just great. But the basic thing that I really wear them for is because I can wear these like two or three days in a row. And ladies, you know what I mean. They don't smell. The same with my um, underlayered turtleneck here. I have a couple of these. This one's a little bit more ribbed and a little bit thicker, but I have a thinner one and a thicker one that I will take with me um, when I'm traveling. And then I can pair this with a lot of different things to make several outfits on my travels. So let's go through some of the outfits that I make up with this black turtleneck and black leggings for my travel adventures. By having this as my base layer, it allows me the freedom to be able to either pack less or if I have things to mix and match with them. And one of the basic ways I use this for is when I'm wearing skirts, like you see here. A denim skirt is a great thing to pair with these leggings, as well as a nice little wrap skirt like this. This is a summertime skirt, but by putting leggings underneath, it allows me to be a little bit warmer. And I have two different styles to wear here with a couple of skirts. It also means that I can take some of my summertime dresses that I normally wear on their own and layer them under and over this outfit. So by putting it underneath a slip dress, it would look really nice like this, or I can put this basic turtleneck on top of the slip dress and make it look like a skirt. So that gives me some versatility and these slip dresses are something I can wear in my room when I'm just hanging out, but I wear these all year round and these are a couple of things that I take from my summer wardrobe and bring them into my winter wardrobe just to give me some versatility. Oh, this turtleneck and leggings are pretty basic. They are a staple in the wardrobe because I can pair them with so many things, especially things like jackets or shackets. They allow me to put something on, on top of this to give me a little bit more layering, but, and make it feel a little bit less like a workout type of clothing and let me go out feeling like I'm dressed. So I really do love just adding a shirt, shacket or jacket on top of this outfit. Winter traveling for me means layering, layering a lot of different pieces and putting that into my capsule wardrobe for winter because I can mix and match them. I can just put a vest over this and wear it out if it's not too cold, or I can put the vest on in a raincoat if it tends to be raining, or I can put the vest on and put it on with my puffer if I need a lot of extra storage and pockets, 
or I can go ahead and put on all three layers if I feel like I'm gonna be really cold and that gives me something to keep warm and the raincoat on top then will keep it dry because you don't wanna get your down wet. You wanna keep it dry. So having a nice rain coat with you or a windbreaker with you will help protect your down jackets from becoming wet and then not keeping you warm. Everyone loves a packable down jacket for the winter, but wouldn't it be nice if you could bring two down jackets with you? Well, you can with this jacket. This jacket is a down jacket, but it is reversible. So I have this nice brown taupey color on one side and this beautiful teal green on the other. And yes, there's pockets for whatever side you decide, to, whatever color you decide to wear it. So this is a great option. So that way, if you're going out, and you have this color most of the time, but you get a little tired of wearing this color, well, all you have to do is flip it the other way, and now you can wear it with the blue side out. It's two jackets in one, both pockets on both sides, so I have something to put keys and things like that in, and it's thick enough to keep me warm, but not so thick that you know I'm gonna be overheated or something like that, so a great, two-tone reversible down jacket that's packable should be on your list of things to have for your winter capsule wardrobe. I always like to carry something like this which is a merino wool large scarf or wrap with me when I'm on my travel adventures. I can use this on the plane to help keep me warm. I can use it if I'm going out to dinner and I want something nice to wrap up in. But this one is wonderful because as you can see here it's gray with these beautiful yellow um, tree design but it also converts to yellow and so I love that that I have two different looks with this a nice bright look and a more understated neutral look but still gives me a little pop of color while I'm traveling so something like this is great to have like I said on the plane sometimes you just need a little bit of something to keep you warm to throw across your shoulders or even if you're at your destination and you just need a little something to keep you warm this is great but the two-tone of this this is super, super soft. I love this. It just feels amazing on my hands and around my skin. So this is a great thing to have and it's gonna keep you warm. So if you're dressing up at night and you don't wanna wear your down jacket, this will keep you a little warmer when you're stepping out from the car to a restaurant to keep you a little bit warmer on your travel adventures. You're out on your travel adventures in the winter, you never know what the weather's gonna be like, but I always like to bring a hat and one like this works great because if it starts to rain or snow, this is going to keep me dry. But if it's not going to rain or snow and I want a different look, this is also going to be able to convert to this, which means I have a white light color as well as that dark color for rain. And this gives me some versatility when I'm traveling to have something else to wear to match with my outfit. So this is another great thing. Look for things that are reversible things that are convertible, things like that, that will help you be able to change your look and pack less while you're traveling. This next item on my packing capsule wardrobe must haves is this. This is a baby alpaca neck gaiter. So this will allow me to wear it as a neck gaiter to help keep me warm, right like this. So I can wear it as a neck gaiter just like this, but I could also wear it up over my head and use it as a band, you know, something like this, but I can also use it as a hat. So now I can take the drawstring part of this, pull it closed and tie it up and use it as a way, as a hat for my head. So now I can turn this inside out and put this on. And now I have a hat to wear for my head. And the best part about that is if I wanted to, I can actually put my ponytail right up through this little hole. So if I had my hair in a ponytail, it would go through this little hole or I can tie it really tight if I don't want the hole there. Next thing I have are these gloves, these mittens. Um, they're really nice. They're actually meant for runners, but you know, anybody can use them. They have this windproof shield on the top, but if I need to use my phone, all I have to do is pull this off and my fingers are free. Now I can use my phone or manipulate things with my fingers. It has these special little touch things so I can use my phone. But if it's really cold, then I can just use this to help keep it warm. Because you know mittens, as long as your body heat is in here and it's windproof on the tips here, so it's going to keep my hands 
nice and warm when I'm out and about on my little travel adventures. So I love something like this. They're thin, they don't take up much room, and if you need to take them off and stuff them in a pocket, they snap together right like this, so that way they stay together, and then I can fold these up, put them in a pocket, nice thin mitten gloves that you can take on your travel adventure. I think most of you who watch me know I love traveling and wearing a vest when I travel. And sometimes I want to bring something a little bit different and this vest fits the bill. As you can see here, it has this nice like fleece looking um, outside, but I can reverse this vest as well and change it into something that looks a little bit different. So that way, again, it's going to give me two vests for the price of one, allow me to expand my wardrobe and looking like I have more clothing, but actually only having one piece that acts as two. All right, I saved the vest for last. As many of you know, I usually travel with a vest on with a lot of pockets so that I can stash some things into my vest to help me get a few more things onto the plane with me. And this is one of those things, but it's not a vest, but yet it is a vest. It's actually a jacket. It's made by the same company of the vest that I've shown you a few times um, that you've seen me wear. It is wonderful because it is windproof and waterproof. I can wear this onto the plane and then I have a nice little windproof jacket, waterproof jacket to bring with me. And it has the pockets like the vest. It has two pockets on the outside. It also has two big pockets on the inside here that I can put things in and then a zipper pocket right here in the back that's large enough to put a few things in as well. This has sleeves that unzip that will allow me to make this into a vest. So now this gives me a variety of different things that I can wear. I've got a couple of vests, I've got a couple of coats, I've got a nice jacket, I've got some hats, I've got a few things that are going to be able to get me through my travel adventure in some style and still keep me warm and dry. So how am I packing carry-on only? Well, for the most part, I'm going to be wearing my heaviest layers on my person to get on the plane. That way it saves me room in my luggage. So my jeans that I have on, my heavy black boots that I, I'm going to be wearing with most of my outfits, this heavier vest that's two-sided, but I'm also going to wear my jacket that has all the pockets. But it gives me options, options for taking layers off, options for having a lot of pockets to put things in and options obviously when I get to my destination of being able to wear a lot of different things. By packing my wool leggings and my wool turtleneck, those are smaller things. Those are things I can get into a suitcase a lot easier. So again, wear your heaviest, bulkiest items if you can on the plane. Now a lot of this depends on where I'm taking off from and where I'm heading to. If it's really warm where I'm going to be taking off from, I may not want to wear something like this because I'm going to get really hot in the airport, but if it's cold this will keep me warm enough in the airport, getting in and out of the cars and things like that, so this is probably a really good option. I bring a waste pack on every single flight. Now generally I can get away with getting onto the plane by swinging it around back behind me and no one even really notices that I have it on. I don't pack it real thick with a lot of stuff but just some essentials that I'm going to need on the plane and that way I can get on and have them and they're not dropping all over the floor and in the seats and things like that. But every once in a while they'll catch me and say you cannot bring a waste pack onto the plane unless it's going to be your personal carry-on item and then I'm going to have to empty everything out of here and that's where this vest jacket comes in handy. I'm going to take everything that I have here and just quickly empty it out into all the pockets that I have on this vest. So that's where these deep pockets come in handy. I don't want to be fishing around in a bunch of little pockets. I'm going to want to just empty this out as quickly as possible and then all I'm going to do is be able to take this, fold it all up just like this and then I can just put this either into the larger pocket back behind me or into my personal carry-on. You'll see it folds up really small like this. Then when I get on the plane, I'm going to put everything back in here and either stick it in the seat pocket in front of me or, you know, put it on my waist. But that way when I get off at my destination, I'll have this little waist pack with me. So something that's going to be able to serve you well. This is a waist pack. It's a sling but it also is going to be something that folds up fairly small. So think about those things because they're going to make you put that in your personal carry-on if they catch you and you want it to be able to fold up really small.
As for that reversible down jacket and the other hat, well, I'm probably gonna put that right in here. This is the reversible down jacket. You can see it's a really small footprint, so it'll fit easily into my personal carry-on or my carry-on luggage, as well as this hat. So I would just pack these together. But if you don't have a lot of space in your carry-on and you still want to bring these things, there's a little trick that I take, which is I always pack this. This little tiny thing right here opens up to a, a tube that I can put things in, like my jackets and things like that. If I get hot and I don't want them on and I want to get some sleep, I can put this, all of this stuff inside this neck tube, and that's going to allow me to use it and get some sleep. It's also a great way you can stuff this full of clothing if you want to ahead of time and just hook this onto your luggage. They're gonna allow you to come onto the plane with this because it's something like a pillow that you sleep with and you just stuffed it full of clothes. So either way, this way, it's not just some big thing you're lugging around that's only gonna be used as a pillow on the plane. This is gonna be used as your pillow and as a piece of carry-on luggage that's gonna help you get a few extra things onto the plane with you. And again, help you store things. So if you're getting hot and you need to take all of this off, you have a place to put it and you can still use it as a pillow. Now I can take that neck pillow and I can have something to be able to go to sleep on, on the plane, have everything in it. And I have one last thing to show you and it's actually in this neck pillow, so let me get that out now. I like to carry a longer trench when I'm traveling because sometimes I'm dressing up and sometimes it's really cold and a nice trench is gonna be something that, it's gonna keep me dry and warmer. Act as a windbreaker on the lighter days, act as something to keep the rain off of me in the, the rainy days. It's something that'll help keep me dry on those wet, rainy winter days. I like a nice little full length trench like this. This will allow me to be able to stay a little bit warmer when I'm on my travel adventures. So something like this, it's not something I'm gonna to wanna to wear on the plane. Anything long like this tends to get caught when you're trying to get in your seat, out of your seat, put it away, things like that. I save these to pack in my luggage or in my neck tube so when I get out at my destination, I can whip this out and if it's cold, rainy or wet, I can stick this on and stay really dry and warm. By carefully choosing some of your reversible or convertible clothing for your trip, it's going to save you just a lot of room and weight in your carry-on and personal item, so that's going to allow you to travel carry-on only. So take a good look at your wardrobe, find out what pieces are the most versatile for your trip, and always remember, think about your whole trip. What are you going to be doing most of the time on the trip? That's going to be the best way to pick your shoes and your clothing and that way they'll be more versatile. You'll be able to wash them and reuse them. And that's something that's gonna make it a lot lighter when you pack. Well, I hope you got some great hacks out of this video to help you consolidate and have a little more variety on your next travel adventure. And for those of you who travel a lot, I know you have some hacks, share those with us. What are your favorite convertible clothes, your favorite you know, reversible clothes, your favorite ways to pack and carry on only, leave those in the comments below. I would really love to know those and I think everyone in this community would love to know those things as well. As usual, I'll put links to everything you saw in this video in the video description. Well, I gotta get packing for my next trip, so until the next time, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, pack and carry on only, and get yourself some great reversible convertible clothes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.